So alrighty guys, Madman Mondello coming at you live from the Garden of Garage here in beautiful Alabama once again. Alright, got a three console screen here. Alright, the first one is going to be the instructional, the demonstration, and all that kind of good stuff. Then the other two are going to follow and be showcased on this thing. Alright, all of them are up on Alliance Live. And of course you've got uh, you've got 10 day trial of Purge or Lifetime Purge, whichever you ordered on the, on the website. All right, all the consoles are fully loaded, ready to go. The college football revamp mod, version 10 on it. The BO2, MW3, and Ghost Saw Posts, as well as Jiggy and Sentinel, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So, we're going to start off this one here with John Spiracos III. Okay, he went ahead, he purchased the console off the website from us. So, well, here it is. And guys, I don't know why, but for some reason I can't see any comments until after the stream it's the weirdest thing and it's just weird but oh well okay so anyway needless to say here we are here's john's console all right we're gonna fire it up okay i'm gonna use this one for the demonstration and remember this applies to all the consoles to get them online and live and all that stuff okay as you can see of course it boots like a beast everything is good all right let me go ahead let me sync up a controller here all right, we're going to boot into Aurora, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you everything that's on the drive and everything, all right, and then what I'm going to do is we're going to do some mods, we're going to sign in, we're going to copy and paste some files and folders over, showing you FTP and Xbox 360 Neighborhood, all right, and also how to get the console online for the first time, which is very important, you need to pay attention to this, okay? Now, as you can see, there we are in Aurora, okay? We got our notifications, we're online, life is good. All right, what I'm going to do here, all right, is with Aurora, okay? Now, just to give you a little insight on this thing, you see you've got, uh, let's see here if I can make this a little better for you. Yeah, I think I can. All right, there we go. Okay. You got your settings, your system, details about the game, browse, view, and launch, all right? Now, pressing the system button, the one to the back there, okay? You see you have your file manager, just like you would in FSD, okay? Your uh, shoulder buttons, your right shoulder button, your left shoulder button, okay? So you can put that there, and there's ACD1. Go to your right shoulder button, you're back over here. You can go to ACDX, okay, and that's your compatibility files, okay? But pretty much, you got a full you got a full file manager on this thing, all right? I will back out of there, I will back out of there, I will back out of there, okay? And, of course, you have your scripts, restart, reboot, and shut down, all right? And then if you press the, uh, if you press the settings button right here, okay? Well, what you're going to get is you're going to get the business end of this thing, okay? Here's your updates. Your update uh, to update your assets and everything. Your profile, if you want to have it auto sign in, selected boot or none. I, I set it to none. That's up to you, whichever way you want to set it up. You can also get an account on uh, Unity uh, and uh, go ahead and you can put your username in. You know, you can request an API key, all that kind of good stuff. Then you got your content folder where all your stuff is, okay, right here. So on and so forth. Your modules, language, security, and about, all right? Now, this one here is a one terabyte drive, so it's got a lot of stuff on it, all right? Now, pressing the shoulder button, we hit the, uh, I'm going to hit RB. That's going to bring up our context menu. All right, we're going to go to Xbox 360 games, okay? And there's your 360 games right there. All right, as you can see, we start off Battlefield 4, and we work our way through. And there is a ton of games on here that should keep you busy for a long period of time, and then some, okay? The Halo series, the Gears of War series, NBA, NBA Jam. Yes, you have NCAA Football 14 with the College Football Revamp Mod on it, version 10, latest one. All right, uh, you know, you have Red Dead Redemption, you know, I mean, Saw, you know, you got, you, you got everything that you could ever want on this thing. And then some, and you can even put more on there, okay? All kinds of wrestling titles, everything that you want, all right? Hit RB again. Bring it over to Xbox Live Arcade. It's got a bunch of live arcade games on it, as you can see. All right, then you have your homebrew section where your tools reside. And, of course, you have your classic games, okay, where we have classic Xbox games on this thing, all the original ones, okay? Some of them don't have title artwork, okay? That's that's Unity, all right? Some of them do, some of them don't, all right? Then, of course, you have indie games where, you know, these are developers' games that were put on here. And then, of course, you have your emulators, okay? And there's your emulators right there. We got SNES 360, Main, uh, Sega Genesis, Genesis Plus 360, Game Boy Advance. And back to FCE UX, which is NES emulator. All right. Now, we'll go back to show all here. All right. That's everything that's on the hard drive. Okay. That shows you everything. All right. Then, of course, 
we'll go ahead and we'll go over to uh hey well we'll go over to the uh xbox original dashboard here just to show you that it is good with a good kv and signed in and all that kind of happy nonsense okay so we're going to go to the original dash here you are hello again john spurkus the third you're on alliance live welcome to alliance live you're going to have 30 days don't worry about it it's just that's the time flopped over on the server okay so anyway got it good okay bypass the sign in you will see it is up to this online and it is live okay if we press our guide button all right over in the right hand screen here on the fifth tab you got your bo2 cheats go cheats my one for three cheats okay my one for two cheats all that crap you got right there okay then we'll bring this back to Once we get back to Aurora here, I'm going to show you. I'm going to sign into this thing here. Just hang on one second. All right. We'll sign in. And there we go. And now this is an offline profile. Okay. It's not on Xbox Live that you have to get going for. Okay. So now, now that we're signed in, we'll go on over to Xbox 360 games. And what we'll do is we'll start off with, uh, let's see here. And we'll start off with uh, NCAA football. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now. We're going to start this thing up, all right, and uh, now this thing here, all right, it's the modified version of it, okay, it's version 10, like I said, please go to uh, College Football Revamp GitHub, Google it, okay, go there, you will see, if, there, if you're going to keep up with this, there's updates once a month, they do, they do updates, they've been doing updates like crazy, all right, um, and that keeps this thing up to date, all right, and also rosters on there that you can download from other people and everything and play with other people and the whole nine yards it's crazy a bunch of people play this game they love it okay so you know just go to college football revamp github and check it out and when there's updates all you have to do is just grab hold of the six files that they update and just copy and paste over the old ones it's that simple all right so anyway we'll start we'll go ahead we'll press start <clears throat> and just to show you that it's uh, that it's working and all that kind of good stuff We'll go ahead. It's going to bring us to the. Uh, it's going to bring us to the uh, options screen here. Okay, you got the options. Play now. Okay, and there's your teams right there. All that kind of good stuff. All right, and then you got your dynasty, your road to glory, 2020 season, ultimate team, Xbox Live, team management settings, the esports extras, college football revamp, and my NCAA legacy. As I said, please, for the love of God, go to the college football revamp GitHub. All right. Check that out and make sure make sure that you go there. And if there's any updates or anything like that, which they just did an update, like I said, it's version 10. They might have another one, okay, just to let you know, all right? So, you know, just so you know, okay? So, you go there and you'll be fine. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get out of here, okay? And then we'll go over here, <clears throat> all right? And we'll bring this back to Aurora. And then I'm going to go through uh, a little bit of GTA with you. All right, so... We're loading up back into Aurora now, okay, and we'll go over to Xbox 360 games, okay, and then what we'll do is we'll fire off GTA 5, just to show you that right there, yes, and this has a GTA series, by the way, Liberty City, San Andreas, and GTA 5, okay, all right, we'll go ahead, we'll start that up, we're going to get a text box that's going to let it, that's going to let us choose an option to set the, uh, to set the, um, the, the, uh, buttons for opening the menu up and all that stuff, I'm just using D-pad left and X to keep it simple, all right? So anyway, it should pop up any second now. Yep, there we are. We're going to hit A. Okay, now it's going to load into the session here, okay? Now I'm going to show you how to use some of, the, some of the menus. Now, this thing has been around for a while, okay? It's been around since late 2015, all right? It's a very, very well-known menu. It's a very good menu. It's very stable, okay? There's a lot of options in it and everything else, okay? Now, look, uh, once we get done with this, now, I'm going to show you a little bit of BO2 with the off host and everything. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to get this thing online for the first time, which is very important, which you really need to pay attention to, because if you don't, you're not going to get online, okay? Um, you know, I'm going to cover how how to do that, and then what we're going to do is we're going to cover, you know, how to how to go ahead and copy and paste files and folders, and we're going to go through all that mess, all right? So anyway, I'm going to take a walk outside here. we got to wait for the uh, menu to stream from the server here, okay? So we're going to get a uh, auto-save thing. Going to pop up any second now. And when that does, see, there we go. All right, we'll hit A. Okay, we're good. Now give it a couple more seconds, and then we're going to use D-pad left and X to open up the menu. Okay, and there we are. Okay, now we got we got a quick start options. Okay, we can turn all this on with A. All right, pretty simple. All right, yeah, we'll yeah, we'll leave that off. Okay, and then we'll hit D to back out of there. You got your quick options. We'll do a little fly mode. All right, and of course you got your teleport locations. All right, your online players, 
Okay, recovery options. And then your bodyguard menu, of course, you know, and uh, you gotta have some stun gun strippers, okay? You gotta have a bunch of them hanging around, you know, it's very, very important, okay? Um, and then you got your weapons options, okay? Where you can turn on your tank gun and your artillery gun, okay? You can do, you, you, you can, uh, let's see, a grenade gun, yeah. Player flares, yeah, we can do that. And fire ammo, okay? Oh, and explosive ammo. There we go. Yeah, we'll leave that one off, okay? And we'll back out of here, okay? So on and so forth, all right? We're down to missed options. And what we'll do is we'll go to weather options. We'll back up the time a little bit. That way then we can see this girl's nipples right here, which is nice. Yeah, I like that. Okay, that's cool. All right, and then we'll back out of there, okay? And we'll go ahead and we'll hit D-pad left and X to back out, okay? Now we can just go ahead and, like I said, you know, you can do a lot of stuff with this thing. Um, we'll get on the bike. Let the girl with the tits on. Let the girl with the tits on. There you go. That's a ticket. See you later, bitches. Okay? And I'm like, oh, that's a nice view. I like that. I'm going to fly through the air. And then also, you know, I mean, you can open the menu while you're doing that. And you can go on over to the bodyguard menu. And then you can start dropping strippers everywhere. So that way then they can make you money. See? There you go. Go make me money, bitches. There you are. That's it. There you go. A whole bunch of them. Then some, okay? And then we'll bring this. Uh, whoop. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, a little, a little crazy right here. Let me hang on here. There we go. All right, now, well, whoa, hey, now, wait a minute, I want to get over here, yeah, there we go, all right, and then we'll land this puppy, and we'll get right off the bike, just like that real quick, okay, and now we're in the middle of the road, all right, go ahead, let's see what we got here, yeah, we got our weapons right there, yeah, yeah, this could be fun, hey, buddy, how you doing, huh, yeah, so anyway, as you can see, it all works pretty good, and you got a whole ton of stuff that you can do on this crazy thing, it's a blast, you know, you send people running, screaming, set them on fire, all that kind of good stuff. You know, just blow up everything around you. It's all good. I mean, I wouldn't really do this online because it's not really that cool to do, okay? But if you want to go around and start helping people and all that, you can, you know? And I mean, oh, look, the boys in blue. How you doing, eh? Not so good, are you? Oh, what happened? Did you lose your donut? I'm so sorry. Okay? <laughs> so anyway, yeah, works pretty good, okay? So, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, all right. I have GTA 5. We'll bring this back now. Alright, and we'll exit out of that, and then what we'll do is we'll go on over to BO2, okay? And uh, we'll show you some uh, we'll show you some options there. Alright, now listen, with the, with the off-host um, server, okay, for BO2, it all works the same for all of them, okay? For all the, uh, for, you know, MW screen, Ghost, and all that crap. It all works the same way, okay? So it's pretty simple, alright? The off-host is simply, okay, you're going to hit D-pad left to open it, X to select, be to back out, D-pad left to close the menu, okay? Now, of course, with Black Ops 2, it has two other menus in it. It's got Jiggy and Sentinel. Sentinel is for zombies. Jiggy is for multiplayer on BO2, all right? Now, those operate a little differently, and they can operate, uh, you know, in contingent with the uh, with the off-host, okay? So, anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire up Black Ops 2, all right? And then what's going to happen is we're going to load it up, okay? And as you can see, Black Ops 2 is bypassed. The cheats will be loaded. Everything will be right with the world. We're going to do a little bit of a multiplayer game. I just have to wait for the friggin' Dolby friggin' logo to get off the damn screen. Just to make you friggin' nutty. Alright, but anyway. Okay. Now. There we are. Good. Okay, now we'll do a little bit of a multiplayer. Alright. And let's see here now. Yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there we are. A little multiplayer. And now you're going to see the Blit and BO2 sheets are loaded, everything's bypassed once again, and then life is good, we're going to go to local game, alright, we're going to set up the bots, put nine of them on there, alright, and then what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to start the match. Now, Jiggy, hold in left trigger, push down on the right thumbstick, that will open it up, A to select, X to back out. Okay, for the off post, like I said, D-pad left to open it, X to select, B to back out, D-pad left to close it. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that you're going to have to remember there, but once you get used to it, you know, it'll be fine. All right, so anyway, we'll start the match up here, okay? And I'm going to go ahead, and let's see what we got here. All right. Now, did I put bots in this damn thing? I don't even know if I did that or not. <laughs> I've been pumping out some of these damn consoles lately. It's been crazy. Uh, let's see, are the bots coming in? No, of course not. What else is new? Okay. Oh, yeah, there they are. Okay. So anyway, all right, hold in left trigger, push down on the right thumbstick. There you go. We'll go to main mods. And I'm just going to do quick mods, and they're going to pop up over here to let you know what's what's happening and all that kind of good stuff. And now I'm going to hit X to back out of there. Now, okay, if you want to play with it online, okay, you put yourself in a session by yourself, all right, and then you go to host only. You hit A to force the host. 
And then what you do is you back out of there. And then you back out of that entire session, and then you go into a public session, all right, and then you'll have Jiggy and you'll have the off host, okay? So then we'll do, we'll do some modifications to the bullets here, like normal. We'll go ahead, we'll do that. We'll do explosive bullets. And we'll add dog bullets, just for the hell of it. And we'll light the rest on fire too, okay? And then we'll back out of there, okay? Now, we'll back out of here, and then what we're going to do is we're going to hit D-pad left, and there's our off host that pops up. X to select. We'll turn all this crap on, okay? Pretty easy. Then we'll do on screen, turn that on, turn that on, this and this, and this. And you can set it up any which way you want to set it up, okay? Then D-pad left to, uh, to close it. Go on out here. When they turn blue, let them have it, and everybody freaking dies, okay? Then we'll get up and we'll fly through the air with the aid of Jiggy. And, of course, we can just, like, rain massive destruction and everything else on this damn thing, okay? Just like that, all right? Or you want to, you could be a real asshole and you just go to aimbot and unfair aimbot and now you shoot through building schools and everything else and you get automatic headshots and then everybody freaking sends you hate mail, reports your profile and you're like going like, wow, I shouldn't have done that, okay? So don't do what I do online, okay? Because it's kind of like uh, you're asking for it if you do that, okay? It's one thing to be nice, it's another thing to be an idiot, okay? And believe me, karma does follow you, all right? So just to let you know, all right? Don't do what I do on, uh, online, you know, okay? Because it's very uncool. And it just ends the game real quick. And then fun is that. There's no fun in that, okay? So anyway, we're good there. Okay, now we're going to back out of here again. Yeah, and then we're going to back out of here. And we're going to go right to the zombies, okay? The zombies is going to load, okay? And it's going to load the sentinel menu, okay? You will see BO2 bypass. And then you'll see that the cheats are loaded. All this other happy nonsense. Go to a local game right here. Oh, that's what I'm going to do anyway, all right? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick transit right here. We're going to go ahead and fire up transit, all right? And then we'll start the match. Now, with this one here, holding left trigger, push down on the right thumbstick to open up the menu, X to select, and then push in on the right thumbstick to back out of the menu, or back out of the sub-menu to the main menu, okay? And you close the menu completely, just push in on the right thumbstick, okay? So anyway, we're going to go ahead, and now it's going to load up. And you're going to see there's going to be some instructions that pop up over here, all right? Now I'm going to hit... Hold in left trigger, push down the right thumbstick. There it is. I'm going to hit X and I'm going to turn all this crap on. All right? And we're going to go ahead. We're going to do this and this. And we'll toggle the aimbot. Then we'll press it on the right thumbstick. And then we'll grab something with a little bit more, uh, a little bit more uh, gusto. Okay? Like uh, a fully automatic RPG. Then we'll go ahead and we'll wake up the zombies. Come on, guys. Wake up. There you are. I got a coffee latte for you. Come on over here. There you go. Yes. Oh, they're breaking into the building. Oh, they're chasing me. Oh, yeah, you tried to scratch me, didn't you? Okay, so anyway, yeah, there you go. Okay, they're all dead. Everybody's dead. I win. Hooray for me. Okay? Pretty much works pretty good. Okay? Now, if you go ahead, all right, and you back out of this thing, you'll see you have personal mods, weapons mods, fun menu mods, menu forge menu, zombies menu, power menu, rounds menu, teleport menu, map mods, lobby mods, game settings, menu settings, players menu, all players menu, Okay? So on and so forth, and then you're back to the top, okay? And then you can just, like, just, like, instantly kill everything in sight, okay? So anyway, that's how that works. Pressing in on the right thumbstick will close the, the entire menu out. Open it back up, hold in left trigger, push down the right thumbstick. There it is, and now it's gone, okay? Pretty easy. Go over to Xbox Home, get that out of there, okay? And now we're going to go back, and we're going to go back to, uh, we're going to go back to Aurora, all right? Now, <clears throat> What I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you how to get this thing online for the first time. All right? This applies to all the consoles that I'm going to show in just a little bit. All right? That there's a certain way that you have to get this thing online for the first time. If you do not do this and follow these instructions, you will not get online. Okay? It's that simple. All right? So, what you're going to do is really simple. Before you go powering this thing on, you're going to go ahead. You're going to open up the drive door. All right? And you're going to rip this out here. I mean, now mind you, it says 250. It's actually a, a one terabyte, as you can see, because you can't stick all that on a little 250. It's just the, the shell is, says 250 on it, all right? So anyway, pull a hard drive on it. Plug it in. Plug your HDMI cord in. Do not hit the eject button to power it on. Damn it, son of a... Okay? Then, once you're done, you're ready to go. I want you to hit the power button, okay? Let the system boot, okay? Once the system boots, it's going to bring you to the original dash. You're not going to have the fancy dashboard. And yes, this unit boots like a beast, just like all of them do when they leave here. All right, as you can see, we boot it up. We're going over to the main dashboard here, the original one. You're not going to get anything fancy or anything like that, because we have to get it online. Now, go up, go over, settings, system, network settings, okay? 
your Wi-Fi is going to pop up over here. Just like Donkey and Dragon and Freeloaders, okay? Jesus Christ. People around me are very strange. <laughs> All right. Then again, I'm very strange too, so what the hell? I shouldn't judge. Anyway, okay. Your Wi-Fi is going to pop up over here. When it pops up, I want you to click on it, okay? And when you do, what's going to happen is it's going to automatically test your Xbox Live connection after you put your password in, just like this. You're going to get a check mark and two red X's, okay? Or two check marks and a red X, it doesn't really matter, okay? We want this. We want to connect to your router. That's what we need to do. We don't need to worry about this right now, okay? Because connecting to that without a stub server is suicide for the KV, okay? That's the reason why those two have failed and blocked, okay? So anyway, once you get a check mark there, life is good, all right? Then what I want you to do, I want you to power off the system, okay? Now, once you power off the system, what I want you to do then is I want you to take the hard drive, slip it back in, you'll see with a click, you'll feel it, close the drive door. The most important part of this is to pull this power cord out and leave it out for five minutes. If you do not do that, you will not get online. Okay, you will get DNS errors, it will connect to the internet, it will connect to the server, but you will not connect to live, you will wind up with errors, okay? So please, for the love of God, make sure that you pull the power cord on this thing and leave it out for five minutes. Now me, because it's already on my network and the credentials are right, I'm just going to plug it back in and I should be good to go. Although it is a Microsoft product, so you got a 50-50 shot at this, okay? So anyway, <laughs> hey, I'm being real, okay? Look. Once that's done, after five minutes, plug it in and everything, power the console on, all right? And then what should happen is the console should boot once again, okay, if you're lucky. <laughs> no, it'll boot, okay? Now, okay, you see the green stuff moving around? That's going to stop moving around. That means that it connected to the internet, right? It found the server, okay, which is good. Because otherwise, if it doesn't find the server, it's just going to keep going around and around and around. You're going to sit there at this freaking logo screen forever. Okay, you don't want to do that. Now, once it does that, it's going to load Aurora, and then you're going to see plugins come across the bottom of the screen. There you go, which means that we're connected to the internet, and we are also connected to the server now, because here comes the server, okay? Then what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we're online. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go on over, right to Xbox 360 dashboard, and we're going to start it up, okay? Now, with an insane amount of luck, you should get a square, just like that. When you get that square, you're good to go to live, okay? It's that simple, all right? So, got it? Good. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to go, you're going to hop on to your PC, all right? Go on over to xboxlive.com slash live, okay? Make an account. Don't use your retail on an RGH, because if you do, you're asking for it. If you do something stupid in BO2 or something like that, they're going to report the profile. Xbox Live is going to look at it and go, oh, really? And then they're going to ban it, and then that's going to be the end of it. And if you care about your retail profile... Okay? I wouldn't recommend doing that. So go make a modder's account. Okay? When you make a modder's account on that thing, alright, you're going to go ahead and put in a silly password, a silly ID, okay? Make it on, make it using Outlook, Outlook Express, the credentials there. Alright? Also another thing too, alright, is if you go to download your profile and if you get an error downloading your profile, okay, and it says credentials, you better get back on that PC. And you better verify the account because that's the reason why it's not letting you connect. All right, because it thinks that it's a spam account. All right, so just make sure that you go on there and that you know you put, you put a phone number in the thing, so then that way then you can get a verification through your phone. Okay, and then you say okay, and then everything will be fine and dandy. If you don't do that, you're going to get an error when you go to download your profile. Okay, so just to let you know. All right, now, so. Go on Xbox Live, make the account and everything. When you do that, okay, and you come back here to the uh, to the to the Xbox, all right, you're gonna go ahead and then you're gonna hit download your profile. It's gonna look like somewhat something like this. Now, after it goes ahead and signs in, you're gonna give you're gonna put your password and everything. It's gonna sign in, everything's gonna be fine, and there you are. Okay, like it's good. Now, in the event you get an error with it downloading the profile, okay. And let's say you're sitting at a download screen for 15 minutes and it can't download it or whatever, okay? Well, that means the network fart happened, okay? Now, that happens a lot. So, well, if you have a network fart, okay, and you're sitting there for 15 minutes and then the profile didn't download or whatever, it's really easy. I'm going to tell you how to fix it, okay? Look, here's what you do, okay? You're going to back out of that screen which is downloading the profile, which it failed, okay? And you're going to come here. Then you're going to go ahead, you're going to go up over, and you're going to go to settings, you're going to go to system. 
All right, you're going to go to storage settings, okay? Then you're going to go ahead, you're going to click on the hard drive, all right? And then what you're going to do, you're going to go down to the profiles, and underneath this profile will be the offending profile that you tried to download. You're going to select that with A. And then what you're going to do, you're going to delete it right off the hard drive and get rid of it because it's no good. Then you're going to back out of here, and you're going to back out of here. You're going to back out of here, you're going to leave the hard drive highlighted, you're going to hit Y for device options, you're going to clear the system cache, and you're going to do it twice. So that's once, and then we're going to do it one more time, okay, just to make sure, and we're good, okay, back out of here, back out of here, up, over, social, sign in, and sign out, okay, click on that, and you'll be good to go, and you can download the profile, and then you should be good to go. I want you to hit the guide button then after it downloads and everything and it's all signed in and go back to Aurora. Once you're back in Aurora, we're going to run a program called XM360. We're going to make sure everything is unlocked to this console, okay? Just for my sanity and your sanity, okay? Because if it's not unlocked, you won't be able to play it, okay? So, we go ahead, we hit RB, we'll bring it on over to Homebrew. Then what we will do is we will go to XM360, we will select XM360, Okay, it's going to start and it's going to load everything that's on this hard drive. This is a one terabyte, so it takes it a minute, okay? So, it's sitting here at a black screen. Don't worry, it's going to go through. It'll be fine. Just give it a give it a minute or so because it's loading a whole bunch of crap on here, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to rescan and make sure that it's got everything that it is looking for, okay? Just for my head, okay? Please do this, okay? Go to rescan all. Hit it, Okay? And as you can see, it's finding all the downloadable content and everything. It's finding all the XBLA. It's going to find all the title updates. It's going to find all the game saves and everything else. Okay? And then what we're going to do is once it finds all that stuff and everything, it's finished. It's going to write a content bin. Okay? Which is cool. That's what we want. Game content bin. All right? And once it does that, then we're going to go ahead. All right? And what we're going to do, we're going to unlock everything. We're going to make sure everything is unlocked. So we're going to go on over here. We're going to go to unlock XBLA. We're going to hit that. We should wind up with zero files unlocked, which is good. Okay? That's good. Then we go over. We go to Show DLC. We click on Show DLC. All right? And then we go on over. We bring this over to Unlock DLC, and we hit that. Okay? Hopefully, we wind up with zero downloadable content files unlocked. Okay? So we're good. Everything is unlocked on the hard drive. We're good to go. Hit A. Okay. All right? Then drop down. Go to Exit the Dash. And you are good to go. And now you can roam free and do whatever it is that you want to do on this crazy thing. Okay? Now, I'm going to show you emulators on this thing, alright, so we'll go ahead and we'll play an emulator on it, okay, so we'll go ahead, we'll hit RB, we'll bring it on over to emulators here, okay, there we go, alright, and we'll use MAME for an example, we'll hit it, we'll start it up, okay, you're going to get a blue screen, just like Windows does, okay, right? except this one works, okay, now, your ROMs are right here. There's over 7,000 in MAME alone. Okay, if you're into stand-up arcade games and you're into the old school stuff and everything, well, there's plenty of it on here, okay? Um, right trigger, you go down page by page, okay? Left trigger to go up page by page. It goes all the way back to 1977, okay? There's a bunch of stuff on there, all right? Then you can use the D-pad to go down game by game. Hit A to launch the game. Follow the on-screen instructions. Off you go. Within the game... You can press in on both thumbsticks, it'll bring up a submenu. You can adjust your shaders, your pixels, all that crap. If there's a mod on there, you can use it and all that. Why for options if you have an external USB drive hanging around? And you when you go to the internet and you download from Arcade Punks a whole bunch of ROMs and everything for this thing. Okay? You can do that. You can load it on there, you can scan it in, and you'll be good to go. Alright? It also good that also goes for Xbox 360 games and all that crap too. Alright? So anyway, that's how you use that, okay? Now once you're done with the game, hit the guide button, go back to Xbox Home, that'll take you back to Aurora, all right? Now, all right, classic games you cannot play with the server on, okay? You've got to you've got to use it in bypass mode in order to play a classic game, okay? If you try to play a classic game on this thing while it's online, well, the end result is going to be a mess, all right? Because what's going to happen is we'll try to play that, and guess what? We got a big black screen, okay? It doesn't do anything, okay? So we got to play that offline, all right? So we're going to put the system into bypass mode, okay? Bypass mode, it's very simple, all right? You want to play a classic game, power the console off, okay? And then what you do is you go ahead and you hit power and you hit eject, okay? We leave the tray hanging out. Aurora will pull it in for you, okay? So we just leave the tray hanging out. The system's going to boot, which it just did. I said, this thing boots like a freaking beast. This thing's a monster. Alright, now, we'll go ahead, we're going to sync up a controller, 
Now it's going to load Aurora, but you're not going to be able to get onto the internet, which means you can't play Xbox 360 games on live, okay? You're not going to be able to do that because it's blocked all of the plugins except for plugin one, which happens to be XBDM, to go ahead and to run on your local area network, okay? So, you'll notice no plugins or anything like that. Everything's cool, okay? So now, once we do that, now we can go ahead and now we can go and we can play a game, okay? So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit RB. I'm going to bring it on over. And we'll go over to Xbox Classic Games. Now, how to tell you're not on the server is really easy. Hit the guide button. You're going to have the plain old gray guide. Okay, you're not going to have any fancy guide or anything like that. It's not going to be on live. So, like I said, you can't play live Xbox 360 games. Okay, so we'll start this off here. All right. All right, it's starting up. There it is. It's loading. Everything is good. Okay, and this is brute force. Okay. So, anyway, as you can see, it plays. It's loading and all that kind of good stuff. All right. Now, this is a this is a pretty heavy, intense game too. From what I understand, there's a lot of a lot of craziness on this thing. Um, now, listen on this, okay? When you're done playing the original game, okay, what you need to do, all right, to get out of here, all you got to do is hit the guide button, okay, and then hit Xbox Home, and that'll bring you back. All right, that's how you play the old games from back in 2002, where we were running on a regular old good old Xbox. 733 Pentium I, okay, those were the days, okay, but anyway, as you can see, everything plays right, you're back in Aurora, now, when you want to play online with your friends or whatever, just power the console off and power it back on normally, okay, without the eject, and you'll be back online, all right, now I'm going to show you something else here, copy and pasting files, folders, and all this happy nonsense, okay, now it's got a built-in file manager, all right, when you hit back, you will see file manager, okay? Also pay attention, you have an IP address here. That's your local area IP address, okay? Very important that you keep that in your head, all right? But anyway, for right now, we use a file manager, okay? And let's say you want to use a USB stick. Well, you got a format of FAT32. You can go out and get a 32 gig or a 64 gig. That's the max size that you can that you can format at FAT32. Format at FAT32, put whatever programs, menus, or whatever it is that you want to transfer over to the Xbox on the USB stick, okay? Then take the USB stick, slam it into the Xbox, okay, without abandon, all right, and you will see where it says USB inserted and all this crap, there you go, all right, now we'll go to the file manager, okay, so we'll hit A, all right, now we have your right shoulder button, your left shoulder button, okay, we we'll use the left window pane, we're going to hit HDD1, we're going to go to the, uh, we're going to go to the router drive, which happens to be where your KV.bin is, or your plugins and all this crap, let's say you want to put a menu on there, let's say you want to put a KV.bin on there. It's pretty easy to do. You copy the stuff over the USB stick, and then what you do is you hit the right shoulder button, okay? And then what you do is you select the USB, just like that, okay? Now, to pull up everything that's on the USB, I'm going to use the trigger to go down page by page, all right? And let's just say I want to go ahead and I want to put a, I want to put a menu on or whatever, okay? Like that one right there. So I'm going to select it with X, and then I'm going to bring this over here. I'm going to go to copy. I'm going to hit A. Then I'm going to hit the left button, the, the left shoulder button right here, all right? And what I'm going to do... I'm going to go down here and see that change to paste, okay? Hit A. Yes. And now I pasted it. And guess what? There it is on HDD1. Good to go. I'll plug the USB stick and, uh, you know, reboot the console or whatever. When If you're in if you're in bypass mode or whatever, put your plug-in in and, you know, in, in dash launch and you're good to go. All right? Plain and simple. To delete it, hit X. Okay? And then uh, once you, whoa, yeah, hit X. Bring it over here. Delete, hit A, okay, and it's gone, okay? Notice it's still on the USB stick, but it's gone from HDD1, all right? Pretty simple. It's a very simple file manager. It works very well, though, as you can see. All right, now we'll pop out the USB stick. Now, remember what I told you about the IP address, okay? Now, with the IP address, okay, this is, this is the actual address of this console that's on my local area network. That's not a public IP. That's your local area network IP. 192, that's what it starts off with, and then you got your subnet and all that crap, okay? Also, some routers use 10.0.0, you know, I mean, so there you go, all right? So, one or the other, all right? Now, look, here's our IP address, 192.168.1.23, okay? Now, there's a couple programs that you can use to transfer files and folders over, okay? And I'm going to show you them, all right? So now, let's see here. Yeah, there we go. All right, you can see. Yeah, I think you can see. Yeah, you can. Okay, good. I'm going to turn this light off so that way that you don't have too much of a glare. All right. 
And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a couple of programs. I'm going to tell you right now, you can use the Xbox 360 Neighborhood SDK, Google it, download it, install it like you would a regular program on Windows 10, okay? Or you can use FTP, you could use a form of it called WinSCP, alright? You download WinSCP, install it like you would a normal program, okay? Both effectively do the same thing. FTP is a little bit simpler. You can't have full control over the Xbox, but you can copy and paste files and folders over, okay? Now, if you venture to use your phone, okay, you can go to the Play Store and you can down an, download an FTP client, okay? It can be a pain in the ass transferring stuff over on the phone, okay? It can be done, but it's still going to be a pain in the ass, okay? So just a warning to you, okay? But for all intents and purposes, we're going to use FTP on a computer and we're going to use Xbox 360 Neighborhood. I'm going to show you how to do this, okay? Now, our IP address, one more time, just to make sure, 192.168.1.23, right? Yep, that's it. Okay, good. So we know exactly what it is now, okay? So now, we downloaded WinSCP or Xbox 360 Neighborhood, and we'll bring this down, and we'll go to WinSCP, okay? Now, that's going to pop up right there. There you go. Now, you're going to you're going to use, your file protocol is going to always be FTP, okay? It's always going to be port 21, okay? Your host name. Grab hold of your keyboard and you put the IP address in 192.168.1.23. Okay? Your username is going to be Xbox FTP and your password is going to be Xbox FTP. Alright? Then you're going to log in. Okay? It's going to log in reading the remote directory and there there's your system files right there. HCDX, which is your compatibility, HCD1, which is the main drive. Then you got the game. If you if you have a game loader, it's going to show up there. You got your system ex extensions, and then you have the system itself. Don't mess around in either or any of these here. Please do not. Okay. Go to HDD One. Double click on it. It's very easy. There's all your plugins. There's your KD. There's all your folders and everything, all nice and neat. Okay. You know, if you go into the games folder, you will see all the games they all have their own directory okay and within that directory is the game like in black ops 2 you will see it's going to bring up a whole bunch of files as you can see and you got your raw and your thing and this is where if you go into raw and you go into maps okay you go to, into mp you'll see see those two files right there those are your gsc menus that's zombies and that is uh, that is jiggy right there okay so just so you know all right so anyway that's where you would inject gsc menus okay now, we'll go ahead and we'll back out of there. And we'll back out of there, okay? So now we're on the root of the drive. Okay, let's say you want to change a KV or something like that. Okay, you want to put a menu on it or whatever. It's real easy. Grab hold of whatever it is that you that you have that you want to put on there. Left click, left click, drag, drop, boom, that's it. It'll copy it, and then it will paste it. And there it is right there. Now to delete it, okay, all you got to do is left click to select it. Right click, delete okay and you're done and that and it's gone okay so it's real easy to copy files and folders over to this dang thing okay the entire games and all that stuff now mind you it takes some time because it's going through ftp all right you're going through a wireless network okay but however though you know it can be done no problems all right so that's how we use ftp now for those of you who are sadists okay or and are into bondage and like pain we can use xbox 360 neighborhood okay so, when you download Xbox 360 Neighborhood SDK, all right, you install it on Windows 10, and then you will have this big green blob on your screen right here. So, you double-click on that, you open it up, okay? There it is. Now, this is from yesterday, so we're going to go ahead, we're going to delete that right off of there, because we don't need that one. It's gone, all right? And now we're going to add an Xbox 360 to the neighborhood using the wizard, okay? And here's the wizard right here. So, we hit next. Now, you could type in JTAG because it's the only one that's going to be on your network, supposedly. Okay, so type in JTAG and it will find you, okay? Now, me, I'm going to use the IP address of the Xbox because I have several of them here that are running and I don't need to be connecting to dev kits and every freaking thing else under the sun. I just need to connect to this one that's sitting on the desk. So I'm going to type in the IP address, 192.168.1.23. Okay, now I'm going to hit next. All right, now... It won't, now, it's asking me if it wants to be my default. No, because I have plenty of them going in and out of here. I don't need this to be default. So, I'm going to hit no. You're going to hit yes. Okay? And when you do that, hit next. Okay? Then finish. And it's going to pop up over here. Now, we can go ahead and we can right-click on it. 
and you have open explore reboot screen capture synchronized time security it says default xbox 360 delete and properties okay if you want to open it up just double click on it and it will open and eventually it will open the drive okay you just have to give it a little bit of time because microsoft likes to make you wait for stuff okay there you are okay now there's our volume hdd1 that's what we're going to mess with so we double click on that all right now we have to wait for the spinning circle of death okay just hang on it's coming just give it a minute i know it's like oh my god <laughs> yes i'm watching paint dry <laughs> Waiting for it to peel off the walls. There we go. Okay, we're getting a green bar. Hang on. Hang on, it's coming. Just give it a minute. <sighs> what am I going to tell you? <laughs> okay. So, there's our files and our folders and all this kind of good stuff. And all our, our almighty KB.bin and everything. So, we're going to place this over here. Now, to copy in files and folders and all that, all you have to do is open up another instance of Explorer. Go over here. Go to File Explorer. And it will strategically place it right over the right, right over the uh, Xbox 360 neighborhood here, okay? Now, like I said, they like you to use the mouse a lot, I guess, okay? All right, so anyway, all right, so we'll go to our desktop, and then let's say we want to copy this file over to the hard drive, okay? So it's real easy. So we go ahead, we left-click on it, we left-click, hold it, drag it, drop it, and you see where it says copy, the little copy symbol there? If you go over the program, it ain't going to let you copy to it. If you go over a folder, it's going to stick it in that folder, okay? So if you've got menus, KVs, and all that, remember to come to the main root of the drive right here and just drop it, okay? And then it'll copy it over, all right? That simple. To delete it, you right-click on it. We grow some pivot here for a little while, okay? There we go. Okay, we hit delete. And then they're going to ask us another question. Hang on, are you sure you want to do this? Yeah, I do, okay? Hit yes, and then eventually it will go away. Just like that, okay? Once you're done, that's it. That's how you copy and paste files, folders, games, all that crap over here, okay? Pretty easy, all right? So we'll hit X. You know, and now it's going to crash my windows or it's going to do something stupid. Okay, um, maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. Let's see here. What is that? You know, Eric, come on now. You know you want to exit. Please exit. Thank you, okay? So anyway, that's how you close out. That's how you close it out, okay? So pretty simple, all right? So that's how you copy files, folders, pasting stuff, all that other happy nonsense, so on and so forth, all right? So needless to say, John, thank you for your business. I greatly appreciate it. I'm glad I got to use your console for the demonstration and everything else. And now we're going to move on to the other two that I've done, okay? So, John, we're good to go. I'm going to be shipping this off tomorrow. You will get a tracking number in your email, all right? And that's going to come from the website as soon as Lorraine inputs it in, which I'm going to... I'm going to spirit these to her uh, dungeon where she can input all of that stuff and information in, okay? So anyway, we're done here with this one. I'm going to power it off, okay? And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and we're going to unplug this bitch, all right? You see John Dish's little name right there, yes, okay? Now I'm going to grab hold of Manny. Manny, Manny the man, okay? Manny went ahead, he, bought, he purchased a console off the website from us. And I'm going to plug this in, and I'm going to plug this in right here, I can find it, and then what we're going to do, we're going to power this one on, okay? Now what I'm going to do, is I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to sync up a controller right here, alright, yep, there we go, alright, this one boots the same way as the other one does, okay, same thing, alright, same loaded hard drive, all good to go, it's just, this is Manny's here, okay? This one's got a little bit smaller of a drive on it, I do believe, okay? I was going to boot up into Aurora, all right? And we're going to get some notifications from plugins and all that happy nonsense, okay, eventually. Come on, get on the network. Don't play around with me. Thank you so much. Okay, there we go. She locked up. Good. And now it's going to load Aurora, and everything will be fine and dandy. There we are. Welcome to Alliance. We're good, okay? And I do believe that you've got a 500 gig drive on this thing. So I'll tell you what we'll do. Go ahead, we'll check it out. We'll go to File Manager. Yes, and you got a 500 gig drive. There you go. There's only 17.3 gigabytes left, 460.9. And the reason for that is because you have system files on there. That's why that there. That's why it only reads 460.9 gigabytes, okay? So anyway, you got a 500 gig drive on this thing. And Manny, go on over here. And as you can see, you got a bunch of titles. 
including NCA Football 14, modified version, version 10. Okay, good to go. Mortal Kombat on there, Mass Effect series, Halo series, Gears of War, so on and so forth. BO2, you know, BO series, Castle Wolfenstein, Ghost Recon, all that stuff, okay? Yeah. Of course, you got Xbox Live Arcade. You have your homebrew section. You have your indie games. Yes, there's some indie games on there, too. You got some classic games on there, including Halo and Halo 2 and all that, Wolfenstein, Vice City, all that kind of good stuff. And then, of course, you got, whoop, emulators. You got them on there, too. Okay? So now, what we'll do, we'll go back to show all. There you are. All right? Now, we'll go on over to Xbox 360. Let's go on over to the dashboard here. Let me hear it. There we go. There it is. Okay? I'm going to hit A. All right? Now, we're going to go to the original dash. <coughs> Here you are, many of you are on Alliance Live. Welcome to Alliance Live. Here, Dash Four Seventeen Five Five Nine. You'll have thirty days, I promise. Okay. And we're back out of there. And there you are. It's up. It's on Alliance Live with a good KB. Okay. Go on over. Our cheats, of course. And you're good to go. Bring it back to Aurora. Okay. So Manny, listen. Thank you for your business, brother. I greatly do appreciate it. Thank you for your patience. I'm glad I can get it done for you. And we're going to go ahead, and that's going to be shipped off tomorrow as well. And you'll get a tracking number through your email also. All right? Now, we're going to shut this one down. And then, <clears throat> we've got one more. Let's see here. Yeah. Mr. Thomas Boyle. Now, Thomas did send in. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, he's sending that 250 gig drive. And we got Shiny here, okay? Also, he sent me sent me a little note. Okay, with this. I love your work, Tony. <laughs> Open the box up, I see that. I'm like, oh, that's really cool. I appreciate that, man. I really do. So, anyway, Thomas, okay, here it is. It's all done, man. All right, tell you what we're going to do. Everything's all plugged in. We're going to fire this thing up, okay? And I'm going to direct your attention to the screen right here. All right, and this one also boots like a beast, as you can see. Notice the fingers never leave the hand, okay? All of them boot this way. This is the only way I try to let consoles out of, out of here. They got to boot within one to three cycles. Otherwise, I'm not happy. I'm, I'm a freaking raven lunatic, okay? And there I am messing with hundreds of timing files, all right? But, you know, hey, listen. If you're going to do it, either do it right or don't do it the freak at all, okay? It's that freaking simple. All right? So, anyway, as you can see, he's got a 250 gig compliment on here, all right? So, we have the show all. And then we go on over your Xbox 360 games, and you got a bunch on there, okay, including NCAA Football 14. I'm making sure that everybody knows that, okay? And then, of course, you got some Halo, you got Grand Theft Auto, you got Gears of War, you got some Call of Duty, okay? As much as I can fit on a 250 gig drive, okay? And then we go on over to Xbox Live Arcade. There's our Live Arcade right there. And then, of course, you have your homebrew section. You have your classic games. You've got a couple classic games on there. I can't, I can't fit any more than that. Otherwise, the damn thing's going to crash all over the damn place, okay? Indie games. A couple of them. Your emulators. Yep, you got all of them. And we're back to show all, all right? Now, go on over. We'll make sure that it's up and online. Go ahead. We'll hit it. We'll hit the dashboard, the original dashboard. There's your square with your name and everything else. You're all good to go. All right, got it. Good. Bypass the sign in, you will see that it is up, it is online, and it is live with a good KB. Okay? Hit the, hitting the guide button, bring it over to your fifth tab, and there's all your cheats right there. Okay? Oh, to, uh, to disable, hit A, to enable, hit A. Okay? And then, of course, bring it back to Aurora. All right? Thomas, thank you for your business. Also, thank you for the note, man. I greatly do appreciate that. Like, I really do. Thank you very, very much for that. I mean, like I said, without you guys, I would be dead. Hey, just it is what it is. So, I do appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right. And, uh, Thomas, this is going to be shipped out tomorrow along with the other ones. Okay. You will receive a tracking number through your email. Okay. From the website. All right. So, keep an eye out for that. All right. And, you know, you're going to have to sign for these things. Okay. So, when they come to your door, you're going to have to sign for them. Okay. Please make note of that. All right. And, guys, listen. I want to thank you for all watching and everything. I greatly do appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And, uh, you know, i got a bunch more consoles I have got to do. Okay, I just had some maniac order two Star Wars consoles and two one terabyte drives. Interesting. 
just like, wow. Okay, so anyway, needless to say, I gotta get busy. Okay, I gotta custom gear some work console I gotta do here. And I got I, I got a whole bunch more I gotta do. So, you know, I mean I'm going as fast as I can, guys. Alright, you know? I'm I'm finally catching up. So, you know, we're getting there, thank God, okay? As you can see, I've been slinging them out left and right, you know? And I'm going to continue to do so until my crippled hands cannot move anymore, okay? So, anyway, yeah, I'm here for the duration, okay? I'm here all night, all right? So, anyway, guys, listen, thanks again for watching. I greatly do appreciate it. I hope that you have a great night. Be safe, be careful, and if not, name it after me, okay? You all have a good one. I'll holler at you all later. Take it easy, guys.